Today we will be exploring the lactic acid system. So what is the lactic acid system? The lactic acid system is used for moderate intensity exercise, around 85 to 90% of maximal exercise effort. After 10 to 15 seconds of exercise, the lactic acid system becomes the main producer of ATP within the body. The lactic acid system can last from 30 seconds to 3 minutes depending on the intensity of exercise. It's a shorter amount of time for higher intensity exercises and a longer amount of time for lower intensity exercises. Carbohydrates are the main source needed to fuel the lactic acid system. Carbohydrates are found in foods such as pastas and breads. In order to create ATP, glucose and glycogen need to break down, which are found in carbohydrates. This process is called anaerobic glycolysis. One glucose molecule is able to make two ATP molecules, making it more efficient than the ATP PC system. A swimmer performing a 100 meter swim would use the lactic acid system. For an average swimmer, this takes around two minutes to complete. The swimmer will become fatigued at the end of this swim due to the buildup of pyruvic acid in the muscles. The pyruvic acid produces lactate, a harmful byproduct of the lactic acid system. If an athlete does not perform an appropriate recovery, the lactate, or lactic acid, builds up in the muscles, creating a sore feeling we are all familiar with. Athletes will recover from exercise involving the lactic acid system in 20 minutes to 2 hours, depending on the duration and intensity of the exercise. In summary, carbohydrates in the form of glucose is the main source of fuel. One molecule of glucose can create two molecules of ATP. The lactic acid system can last from 30 seconds to 3 minutes. Fatigue occurs due to pyruvic acid buildup. The harmful byproduct produced is lactate. And recovery can last from 20 minutes to 2 hours, depending on the duration and intensity of the exercise.